Well, the USD women have their new head coach, Kayla Karius, who was formerly Kayla Tetchlog, of course. That's how most of us got to know you, but a name changed since then. But the same old Kayla, and that's the great part. Welcome back. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Well, let's talk about this process, and it's been a wild ride. Certainly, these things are, are a whirlwind when you're involved the way that you were. How did we get here today? <laughs> it was a little bit of a whirlwind recently, um, but it was just a matter of, you know, the, looking back at this program and the steps that it's taken and what an incredible opportunity this the former staff had uh, to, to move on to West Virginia and uh, a job opportunity that for me was a total no-brainer. For me, this was coming home to an incredible program, to a town that my husband, now husband, and I uh, grew to love while we were here and, and friendships that uh, still remain. So you were here a couple of years and then you moved on to the University of Wisconsin and then ended up at Drake for this last year. How have you grown? since you left Vermillion the first time? It's a loaded question. You feel like you grow so much uh, every single year, no matter uh, what program you're in, you're always trying to take pieces of everything you do um, along with you. Um, and it really starts to shape who you are and what you believe in. I think there's a lot of great lessons I learned along the way. Different challenges. Uh, when I left USD, I was going to an opportunity at the University of Wisconsin, which for me was a, an incredible opportunity uh, at the time and to coach in the Big Ten and to experience what it's like at that level and to play against uh, really incredible teams every single night in that conference and um, then going on to Drake this last year and and what an incredible program and history uh, that place has and the people there just totally welcomed us in and uh, had a great experience and learned a lot there too. Now you have a lot of impressive stops and a lot of impressive accomplishments along the way throughout your career the one thing you, you can't make up though is is you don't have head coaching experience yeah. until right now you're, you're, you're right. gonna go from this you're point right. forward right <laughs> but uh, as, as you look at that, how, does, how helpful or advantageous is it to be getting that first opportunity in a place like Vermilion where you are already familiar. Right. Well, that's certainly what makes it a no-brainer move for me is I've always known being a head coach was in my future. I've always uh, known that a leadership role is what I've taken on just so naturally. So knew that that was in my future. It was just a matter of when and where that was going to be. There have been opportunities in the past that were opportunities but didn't really make as much sense and certainly didn't have the pull and the great feel that USD had for me and for our family. So like I said, this was just a, a great place uh, to, to come and to begin my head coaching career. It's I'm so thankful. When you look at what USD women's basketball is, obviously there's a ton of tradition in place here. Obviously some very special accomplishments with the previous staff and, and with what they just accomplished in reaching the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history. Certainly all of that excites you, and certainly it's all part of what made this job so attractive. How do you take what's here – and continue pushing it forward. Yeah, where do we go from here? I think really one of my advantages is I was here for Don Plitzewite's first two years, and I, I got to see the transition from Amy Williams to Don Plitzewite. And at that point, this program had just come off the WNIT victory in front of 8,000 fans screaming away in the dome. And at that point, this SESC was, was just being finished, and there was sort of a new era starting. And at that point, too, we had this conversation as a staff, like, where do we go from here? What what are people expecting now and and where does this program go when you feel like you've already accomplished so much well there's so much more to accomplish and for us it was really fun to lay a, a new uh, foundation or a piece of that foundation I think and a new sort of culture uh, that we knew would be strong and would uh, continue to get players excited to be here and fans excited to watch and really laid that foundation the two years I was here and man did they just continue that on and so fired up to see how they did and so again I think my advantage just seeing that transition and now it's a, it's another transition certainly from a great coaching staff and what they accomplished and and now the next era you met the, the the young women on your team for the first time on Sunday night I'm sure that was all kinds of emotions within that room but what was the reception like and how important is it to start right there with the the ladies that are still here and, and keep them here and then go from there. Well, it's everything. That's why the first thing we wanted to do, we rolled into town and, and went right to meet the team. And that's how important it is. And I told them that too. They are so important for this program, for what they've accomplished, but I want them to stay hungry and to stay driven. And there's so much more that we can accomplish together. Certainly it's gonna be a transition period now um, between one head coach to, a to the next, but uh, they are um, such a, a strong, tight knit group. You could tell right away. And that culture piece is there. The welcoming that I received, that our family received was so warm. And I just was able to jump around and give everybody hugs. And it's interesting 
thing for me, again, to talk about the familiarity with the program, really almost everybody in that room I have some previous relationship with. So whether that was I recruited them uh, when I was here at USD, they were probably really young at the time, but I had some part of that, or I've contacted them and recruited them because I was still in the Midwest and still recruiting a lot of the same players, but pot potentially at a different school at that time. So it was really fun for me to just call every player by their first name and already have that relationship in place. And now it's a matter of getting to know each other even better and, and where do we go from here? One thing to get to, to know each other, and that's certainly a huge part of this puzzle as, as you move forward, but lots of other pieces and lots of other moving parts, right? Uh, what is the next key step that you've got to invest the time into to, to make sure that you hit the ground running? Absolutely. Well, we talked about our team and it's spending a little bit of time with them here on the court too the next couple of weeks while we have the chance to do that and getting more familiar with each other that way. It's going to be formulating a staff and getting people in here that are so invested in USD and love it as just as much as I do. And if they don't know it yet, they will know it. And uh, getting those people in place to really get to know our players as soon as possible and uh, and get that situated will be huge um, as well as connecting with there's young ladies that have committed to this program in the future I had a chance to speak with all of them and and they're still really excited they they chose USD for a lot of reasons and I reminded them that this program is still here it is still here we are going to accomplish great things together and uh, that was really fun to hear as well and and I won't give you the rest of the list but there's a few more things <laughs> <laughs> all right well Kayla congratulations first and Thank foremost you. there's a lot of excitement as there has been for a long time about USD women's Absolutely. basketball and today is certainly no different. Thank you. I'm so honored to be here and so honored to be the next head coach here. Go Yotes!